What's up everybody? This is Carl and Soli from Abundant Living Ecuador. And today we are here in Curia on the Ecuadorian coast and we're making some passion fruit juice. As you can see here, these are beautiful maracuya or passion fruits. We bought a whole sack of them for eight dollars. Can we make can we make a video? Oh yeah, that's fine. I'll show it. And um, and we're making juice right now. So maracuya is I don't know if it's well, it's passion fruit. So it's really delicious, uh, sweet and sour. And we're gonna put all of those delicious passion fruit into the blender. It's so good. And blend it up, filter it, and have some fresh passion fruit juice for breakfast. All right, so the power actually went out. So we don't have electricity. So I'm gonna attempt, normally I would blend this, right? And then pour it and strain it. I'm just, I just mixed it up with a spoon really well. The seeds are all intact though. And I'm just gonna put this through a strainer and see if this can be done without power. And then we were also told that you can boil or at least heat up the maracuya and make it into a drink doing that. Um, so we're gonna try that with the leftover seeds that we weren't able to uh, that we weren't able to use here because they definitely still have some a lot of flavor and, and some of the juice in there. So we'll try that out afterwards. So the juice. So as you can see, there's a lot a lot of delicious juice here. All right, so our juice is ready here. Let's pour it in the blender. All right, let's try some of that with your shot glass. Wonder, 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 wonder. Sour. It's really sour, yeah. Yeah, so the, the maracuyas we bought were not meant to be used for juicing. Um, they, they call them pulpa. So they're not like as sweet, but uh, we could add maybe a little sweetener to here. It'll taste better, right? It's still good, but it, it tastes better with a little bit sweetener. What's up, everybody? We are here in Olon, Ecuador. Actually, we are in Curia right now. Curia, as what it's called. And I'm just taking a little walk here on the beach with Gigi. Gigi. A little lady, Presa Canario, and the rest of the family is over there hanging out on the beach. We've been relaxing for the last three days. We haven't been doing much, so I haven't been getting a lot of footage. The beach is beautiful here, very peaceful and quiet. Today is Sunday, so there's actually quite a few more people on a Sunday afternoon than there would be during the weekdays, but it's still very quiet, very peaceful. People are nice, people are friendly. It's, there's quite a bit of tourism here, so there's definitely, uh, they're definitely used to seeing tourists. But uh, look at the beach, look at the beauty here. So yeah, it is beautiful. It's very peaceful, the sound of the ocean, the waves. The place we are renting is quite affordable, actually. We're renting a whole house. Uh, of course, we have, we're gonna be basically three couples and one single person, so uh, seven adults, and then we have three kids with us as well. So uh, a good amount of people, but for the whole month, basically rented the house for a whole month, 28 days, I believe, and it cost us $1,200 US. For the whole month which is really good for a nice nice home uh it's not beachfront we are just above the beach actually i think we might be able to see our house from from here i'll, I'll see if i can zoom in and show it to you guys but uh any, anyways it's a really nice spot so we got this cool little spot right here there's a nice little bar in the back they have drinks they have food as well empanadas uh, chicken wings and other things and i just ordered a margaritas margaritas uh, uh, limon very good actually tasty helps uh, helps relax <laughs> when you're on vacation 
Amelia. She likes the ocean actually. That's cool. That's cool. She just turned five months old. This little girl. missing our coconuts here so we're buying a whole bunch uh, 10 for $15 a dollar 50 per coconut as you can see here we already opened one to drink and we're gonna carry those to the beach and carry them to the car later listo, listo. let go let go <laughs> this guy here Danilo sells coconuts on the beach driving we don't have to necessarily be walking through the crowds there you go all right vamos vamos por acá okay we're gonna get out of here as asap get back to sanity but it gives you a little idea of what um, what what ecuador looks like you know when it gets busy we've got uh lots of people you know, overall, people are, are, are still very friendly, very courteous. Uh, nobody's like getting in a fight and all of that stuff. It's it's actually quite peaceful. They love tourists here. They they think they can sell you something. So you're kind of uh, if you're a tourist, if you're you know Westerner, they will take good care of you because you are part of the. You're basically becoming. You're basically a tourist. You're basically a source of income for them. So they'll definitely treat you really well want to bring you into their restaurant, give you a good deal, tell you how great you are and all that stuff, but we're not gonna do that tonight, unfortunately. That being said, uh, yeah, come to Montanita Ecuador if you wanna have a blast and party. So we're driving back to Olón right now. We're not gonna stick in Montanita. We were thinking of going to the gym. There's a really nice gym in Montanita, but you really can't find any parking. So unfortunately, we're just gonna go home and go rest actually we we talked about going to the beach in uh in olon and just going to run on the beach with our dog we might just go and do that right now all right let's continue our drive here in olon uh oh this guy's on a one-way street how are we gonna do this we're gonna trouble bro what are we gonna do here you have to back out man you have to back out Sorry. Right, we made it. We made it. Made it all the way down to the beach. And as you can see down here by the beach, we have a. Say what again? We might be able to find parking down here. That's usually where there's a lot of uh, a lot of parking lots. But uh, this is the access to the beach right here. And if we take a right, we might be able to make it to some kind of parking lot, hopefully. So right now we are here on the beach. We decided to go on a little beach run. We've been jogging and running on the beach. 
here in Olon and there's nobody here it's beautiful we're basically all by ourselves right on the beach doing some exercise at night look it out look, check it out the beach is over there the waves are coming in it's pretty amazing that we're basically all by ourselves here you know there's a osteria right here but I don't see anybody and we're just having a little nighttime beach walk with Soli, Soli Gabriel, just having fun running on the beach. Oh, and it is almost full moon, so we're having a great time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel right here. Check out our real estate channel right here for content that you will absolutely love click right here, and if you wanna know how we got here, click here.